welcome to this lesson on pronoun reference, one of the most important topics on the SAT writing section. Definitely pay attention and definitely consider recapping this episode because there's a lot to learn and you won't want to miss this when it comes on to test day. So let's have a look at what you need to know. First of all, you definitely need to know what pronouns are. Pronouns stand in the place of nouns and you may recognize them from these examples words like it, they, etc. One way of remembering what pronouns are is to picture a conjugation chart from your foreign language class. The words down the side, like I, he, they, those are pronouns. And we have an example where you can see pronouns in action, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the reason they're so important is that they're tested on every type of writing question all throughout the test. So definitely be on the lookout. And now let's look at the three rules you need to know. So as promised, here are the three rules you should know about pronouns. The first one is that a pronoun must refer to a noun. If you have a pronoun that you see in the sentence, you should go find the noun it's referring to. Like if it says she, you should go look for the woman that's being discussed. And the second rule is that a pronoun must agree with that noun. If your pronoun is female, the noun you're talking about has to be female. If your pronoun is plural, the noun you're talking about has to be plural. And lastly, it must be clear which noun a pronoun is referring to. So it can't be the case that a pronoun might refer to one noun or might refer to another. You have to know exactly which noun is being referred to. Let's go one by one through these in more detail. First up, a pronoun must refer to a noun. If you see a pronoun, look for the noun it's referring to. And if you can't find that noun, the sentence is wrong. Very simple. Let's see some examples. On TV tonight, they reported a decline in unemployment. Now, we might talk like that, but it's not gonna be right on the SAT. The word they is a pronoun, so it should catch your attention. And then you should realize that they is not talking about any noun in the sentence. So maybe this means the anchors. But the sentence as is, is not correct. So you would either want to Circle this if, say, it were underlined as an answer choice in the improving sentences part of the test, or look for an answer choice that was similar but actually specified who was being talked about if you were in, say, the improving sentences part of the test. Another example, here goes. Quinn complained the musicians were playing so loudly that she couldn't tolerate it. Again, we talk like this, but it's not grammatically correct. Find the pronoun and the pronoun is it, and then see what noun is being talked about. And there is none. Quinn couldn't tolerate it. It might mean something like the noise, but the noise is nowhere to be found in the sentence. So the sentence as is, is incorrect. Last example. Laura and her boyfriend don't seem very compatible since she loves to run and he hates it. Yet again, we probably talk this way, but it's not correct. Find the pronoun, the pronoun is it, and then find the noun that it's talking about. And it's nowhere in the sentence. I guess we're talking about running. And one thing that you should know is if you're referring to something in the sentence and that something is a verb, in this case, to run, clearly a verb, you can't use a pronoun. A pronoun has the word noun in it because it can only stand in for a noun. But there is an expression which may sound funny, but is grammatically correct and lets you refer to a verb like this. And that's 